Morning news, info that you can use. It's time for nine at nine. All right. That's beautiful. All right, let's do the nine at nine. Number nine, we never stop pandering to that younger audience, which is why we have an update about Ethel Merman. Uh, Robin was wondering what her signature song was. It's There's No oh, Business Like yeah. Show yeah. Business. There's no business like show business like no business I know. Everything about it I'm is to appealing. Be one of your sisters. Mm. I don't get why people thought that was really good. Oh, well, she's a good singer. When you are stealing that extra ball. She was funny. I remember yeah, her in that movie, funny. you know, in that. Is she from uh, I it's Love a, Lucy, or is that a different? No, that's no. different. Is that the character's name, Ethel Merman? No, it was just Ethel. Ethel was, or no, was it Ethel Merce? Yeah, yeah, there right. you go. Remember when she was in Airplane, though? When yes, she was that's impressed? what I was that, thinking of. That was of. hilarious. Yeah. She, yeah, let's pull that up, that clip. Uh, that's when oh, I don't remember that. The airplane? Ethel Merman, and they show him singing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no business like that. But it's all right. right. <laughs> we'll, we'll follow oh, up tomorrow. Yeah, all right. Number eight, make a statement with the Bugatti Ladybug. It's a car so fancy, it took two weeks just to finish the paint job. If you're wondering, it's a mix of red and, uh, red and graphite that was hand-painted. This particular car was made to order for a very particular a wow. very wealthy customer. Hmm. He was looking for a diamond-shaped theme throughout. The result you see here was in the works for two years because engineers couldn't quite get it right. Luckily, they did. The customer happy to pay $5.4 million. Wow. Well, huh. but then you drive it off a lot, it's only worth half. Yeah, that. it goes yeah, down immediately. That's the problem, yeah, right away. You need to buy a used one. <laughs> that's, yeah, what, that's right, with just a couple thousand miles right. on it. All right, number seven, of all the revelations that uh, came from uh, Harry and Meghan's interview, this one is my favorite. Thank God I had that life experience. Thank God I had known the value of working. My first job was when I was 13 at a frozen yogurt shop called Humphrey Yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Indeed, yeah, Humphrey Yogurt. It's a real place in Trinidad. Wow. Huh. That's it right there. What a great name. Yeah, mm. Humphrey Yogurt. Number six, the video says it all. It's a racing drone that includes a high-quality camera and software. The DJI FPV is a combo Whoa. drone. So one minute you're zooming through the sky, the next minute you're shooting aerial footage. It also comes with special goggles. You can wear them to get a first-person perspective of the drone's entire oh. flight. And it's all done in high resolution, so you'll get cinematic quality. Oh. It's just under 1300 bucks at Amazon. Huh. Ooh, that looks like fun. Uh, number five, uh, here's just a little more of Belgian Malin... How do you pronounce it again? Is it Malinois? Malinois. Yeah. Malinois the dogs yeah, and their amazing right. jumping abilities. As we said, people often think these are, are German Shepherds, but they're not. They're smaller with lighter bones. Huh. Whee! Look, come on. Is, they, they go crazy if they're not around people and they're not given exercise. Yeah. So you really need to be a, a dedicated that. dog owner. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to let a pack of Malinois out into the audio room <laughs> and shut the door. <laughs> All right, number four. Wow. Excuse me. Audrey Hepburn sitting at the center table. Don Draper from Mad Men hanging out at the bar. Those are just some of the characters you'll find right now at Peter Luger's Steakhouse in New York. All right. Restaurant in New York City can only open at 35% capacity right now, so the folks at Peter Luger Proud figures from Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. Jimmy Fallon, Al Roker, others won't be dining there, but their wax doppelgangers will, mm. just to make it look a little more crowded. See? Yeah. They'll be there for a while until more COVID restrictions are lifted. Boy, that's not creepy at all. No. No. <laughs> Number three, the witch's stairs. You might find a staircase like this in New Ooh. England. But only in really, really, really old houses, they were designed with the belief that witches couldn't climb them. And if you look up this story online, it's a myth that's been debunked, ironically. <laughs> no one can really explain 
uh, where the stairs were built uh, or why mm. they were built this way. So the mystery remains. Huh. I was going to say, put a flight of those into the studio, right, Larry? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Just in case any, you yeah. know. Yeah, let's sneak in. You so never they, know. they can climb regular stairs, but they can't climb those kind of stairs? If you mix them up a little bit, you're going to confuse them. Yeah. That's why they stay away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Number two, after that huge bonanza of an interview with Oprah, a lot of people are pointing Harry and Meghan in the direction of Princess Anne, who is Harry's aunt, the sister of Prince Charles. She is the second child of the Queen, after Prince Charles. People say that they could have followed Anne's example if they wanted to stay out of the spotlight. Yeah. They probably never heard of her because she lives a quiet life. She went to school where she received no special attention she has raised her kids normally, and she's done some amazing charity work for 200 organizations huh. like Save the Children. Her daughter, Zara Phillips, is an Olympic equestrian and married to a former England rugby player. She does all this while maintaining certain royal duties, but mostly just keeping to herself. Hmm. Ha. 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 Well, there you have it. There Number you. one, uh, we mentioned macaroons. Oh, yeah. yesterday and a viewer named Karen Willow pointed something out and I, I would have corrected you being the, the cultured world traveler that I am. Oh boy, here we go. We call these macaroons, they're actually called macarons oh, oh, with yeah. one O. These are French and they're made from almond flour and egg whites. That's right. Macaroons are usually made with oh. shredded coconut and look oh. like this. They're both equally delicious. Mm. In any case, it gives us an excuse to play this old SNL. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the best macaroons Salma Hayek and I had put in our mouths ever. C and B macaroons! <laughs> 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 and the most expensive gift ever given away on Oprah's favorite things, a DVD handicam valued at over nine hundred dollars. <laughs> 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 Those favorite thing shows were so oh. they were insane. I'm turning 50, y'all. Hysterical. Oh, all righty. Here we go. That's the nine at nine. nine Don't wait nine for me. Just hit it. <laughs> <laughs>